Today, we're taking you on a journey to the sun-soaked island of Barbados. A gem in the Eastern Caribbean, known for its rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning natural beauty. Whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, or simply looking for a tropical escape, Barbados has something to offer everyone. In this episode, we'll count down the top five must-visit attractions in Barbados. From the world's oldest rum distillery to breathtaking underground caves, each destination promises a unique and unforgettable experience. So grab your sunscreen and get ready to explore the best of Barbados. St. Lawrence Gap, affectionately known as The Gap, is a bustling street on the south coast of Barbados, famous for its vibrant nightlife, diverse dining options, and beautiful beaches. This 1.3 kilometer stretch is the perfect place to experience the island's lively atmosphere and mingle with both locals and tourists. St. Lawrence Gap is home to some of the best beach bars and pubs in Barbados. For a casual evening of drinks, head to Hal's Car Park Bar, Johnny Cool's Beach Bar at Dover Beach, or My Friend's Place in the Chattel Village. These spots offer great deals on beers and rum punches, attracting a mixed crowd of locals and visitors alike. If you're looking for a place to enjoy cocktails at sunset, the Gap won't disappoint. On the bay, Cafe Soul and Cocktail Kitchen are popular spots where you can sip exotic drinks while watching the sun dip into the bay. The stunning views and relaxed ambiance make these bars perfect for unwinding after a day of exploring. For those who love to party, the Gap is the place to be. McNaughty's and Crave are known for their live entertainment, creative DJs and thrilling club nights. These venues draw out the crowds with great music and fantastic deals on beers and cocktails. If you prefer a more mature crowd, my friend's place is the ideal spot to dance the night away. Dining in St. Lawrence Gap is an experience in itself. Many restaurants offer happy hours and drink specials, allowing you to enjoy pre-dinner drinks, excellent dining, and post-dinner drinks all in one convenient location. Be sure to try Castaways, Primo, and The Dive for an amazing atmosphere and delicious food. At the heart of Barbados lies one of its greatest natural wonders, Harrison's Cave. This crystallized limestone cave, located in the central uplands of the island, is characterized by flowing streams, deep pools of crystal clear water, and towering columns. It's a must visit for anyone interested in geology and natural beauty. Harrison's Cave was officially opened to the public in 1981. The Boyce Tunnel, named after equipment operator Noel Boyce, who broke ground to open the cave's natural passageways, leads to the entrance of this magnificent cave system. The cave is at least 2.3 kilometers long, with an interior temperature averaging 27 degrees Celsius. The largest cavern in Harrison's Cave, known as the Great Hall, measures 15 meters high. The cave is considered active because it carries water and its stalagmites are still growing, albeit very slowly. This makes Harrison's Cave a living geological wonder with formations that continue to evolve over time. Visitors can explore the cave by tram, which allows them to see the most vulnerable areas without causing damage. Inside, you'll find stunning stalactites, stalagmites, and unique rock and mineral formations. The tour also includes videos explaining the geology of the cave and how it was formed, making it an educational experience for both adults and children. The process of erosion played a significant role in the formation of Harrison's Cave. Water eroding the limestone rock in the area led to the creation of this underground system. The calcium-rich water inside the cave is responsible for the formation of the beautiful stalactites and stalagmites that adorn its interior. No visit to Barbados would be complete without exploring its rich rum heritage. And there's no better place to start than Mount Gay Distilleries. Founded in 1703, Mount Gay is the world's oldest commercial rum distillery, and it offers a fascinating glimpse into the island's history and rum-making traditions. Mount Gay rum is made from molasses and water that has been filtered through natural coral. This mix is fermented using an exclusively selected yeast and then distilled in both copper pot stills and column stills before being aged in oak barrels. 
The distillery's engineering includes a retort to reinfuse aromas from the vapor back into the liquid, ensuring a rich and complex flavor profile. The distillery is located in the northern part of the island, with four warehouses where about 4,000 barrels of spirit mature. Despite its remote location, Mount Gay maintains a strong presence in the capital, Bridgetown, with the Mount Gay Rum Visitor's Center on the Spring Garden Highway. This center is a popular tourist attraction that hosts several tours and events. Mount Gay Rum has a long-standing association with sailing, making it a favorite among sailors worldwide. The distillery sponsors over 110 regatta events globally, with approximately 50 of those based in the U.S. Top competitors of these events are often awarded distinctive red hats, a symbol of their achievement and connection to Mount Gay. The history of Mount Gay is deeply intertwined with the island's colonial past. The distillery was named after Sir John Gay Alain, a trusted friend of John Sober, who purchased the Mount Gilboa Plantation slash distilleries in 1747. Sir John Gay Alain was a popular leader and philanthropist known for his efforts to speak out against the institution of slavery. Bridgetown, the capital of Barbados, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that offers a rich blend of history, culture, and modern attractions. The city's historic garrison area is particularly noteworthy, providing a fascinating glimpse into Barbados's colonial past. Bridgetown's garrison area is home to several important historic sites, including the Barbados Museum and Historical Society, the George Washington House, the National Army and St. Anne's Fort, and Garrison Savannah. These sites collectively tell the story of Barbados's military history and its strategic importance in the Caribbean. The Barbados Museum and Historical Society, located in the former British military prison, offers a comprehensive look at the island's history from its indigenous peoples to its colonial past and beyond. The museum's exhibits include artifacts, photographs, and documents that provide valuable insights into Barbados's cultural heritage. The George Washington House is another must-visit attraction in the garrison area. This historic house is where a young George Washington stayed during his visit to Barbados in 1751. It's the only house outside the United States where Washington is known to have lived, making it a unique piece of American and Barbadian history. Garrison Savannah, once a military parade ground, is now a popular venue for horse racing and other events. The area is also home to several well-preserved colonial buildings, including St. Anne's Fort, which houses the National Army of Barbados. Visitors can explore these historic sites and learn about the island's military history through guided tours and exhibits. Nestled in the lush hills of St. Joseph, Hunt's Gardens is a botanical masterpiece collated by horticulturalist Anthony Hunt. This enchanting garden is a haven of tranquility and natural beauty, offering visitors a chance to immerse themselves in a vibrant tapestry of tropical flora. Hunt's Garden is set in a sinkhole-like gully, which provides a unique microclimate that supports a diverse range of plant species. The garden is laid out on terrace slopes with winding pathways that lead visitors through a series of themed garden rooms. Each room is filled with an array of exotic plants, from towering palms to delicate orchids. Anthony Hunt, the visionary behind the gardens, personally welcomes visitors and often shares stories about the creation and maintenance of this botanical wonder. His passion for horticulture is evident in every corner of the garden, making a visit to Hunt's Gardens a truly personal and memorable experience. The garden is home to a variety of wildlife, including birds, butterflies, and even the occasional monkey. The lush vegetation and tranquil atmosphere make it a perfect spot for bird watching and photography. Visitors are encouraged to take their time exploring the garden, with plenty of benches and shaded areas to relax and enjoy the surroundings. One of the highlights of Hunt's Gardens is the Central Terrace, where visitors can sit and enjoy a cup of tea or a glass of rum punch while taking in the stunning views. The terrace is surrounded by vibrant flowers and offers a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It's a perfect spot to unwind and soak in the natural beauty of Barbados. Hunt's Gardens is not just a feast for the eyes, but also a sensory delight. The fragrant blooms, the sound of rustling leaves, and the sight of colorful flowers create an immersive experience that engages all the senses. 
It's a place where nature and art come together to create a living masterpiece. If you enjoyed this virtual tour of Barbados, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below about which attraction you're most excited to visit. Share this video with your friends and family and stay tuned for more exciting travel destinations in our High Five series. Barbados is a treasure trove of natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture. From the lively streets of St. Lawrence Gap to the awe-inspiring depths of Harrison's Cave, this island offers a diverse range of experiences that cater to every type of traveler. Whether you're sipping rum at Mount Gay Distilleries or exploring the historic sites of Bridgetown, Barbados promises an unforgettable adventure. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Barbados. We hope this episode has inspired you to pack your bags and discover the wonders of this Caribbean paradise for yourself. Until next time, happy travels.